This method can address key research questions in neuroscience, oncology, and beyond, such as cell type specific expression and spatial mapping of splice variants within the brain and tumor microenvironment. The main advantage of this technique is that it can detect exon junctions, short sequences, and point mutations in the tissue context with very high sensitivity and specificity in single cells. Demonstrating the procedure will be Heli Pimentel, an associate scientist from our laboratory. To prepare the tissue, fix it immediately following dissection in 10% neutral buffered formalin at room temperature for 16 to 32 hours. Subsequently, the sample is processed and embedded in paraffin using standard procedures. Cut the embedded tissue into 5 plus or minus 1 micron sections using a microtome. Mount the sections on electrostatically adhesive glass slides and air dry at room temperature overnight. One hour before performing the RNA in situ hybridization assay, place the mounted tissue slides in a slide rack and bake in a circulating air oven at 60 degrees Celsius. Prior to starting the RNA in situ hybridization assay, ensure the hybridization oven is set to 40 degrees Celsius. Thoroughly wet the humidifying paper, remove any residual water, and place the lid onto the humidity control tray. Prepare 200 milliliters of commercial.